In this video, I'm looking at graphing the inequation y is greater than or equal to x. This means that I'm looking at graphing a linear graph with an area shaded that represents all the possibilities where y is greater than or equal to x. So to do this, first I'm just going to look at graphing the equation y equals x. So I'm just going to start off first looking at y equals x and then I'll work on what the inequation is. So to do this I'm just going to make up a table of values which is going to allow me to plot a few points that I can join together with a straight line. And I'm just going to pick a few, zero being in the middle, it's a nice and easy one, and I'm going to do negative 2 and positive 2 for x. And if y equals x, that means I'm going to have negative 2, 2, negative 2, 0, 0, and 2, 2. So now if I draw up a set of axes that I can use to plot my points on, so I'm going to have my x-axis and I'm going to have my y-axis. Let's have, well this is 0, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Now of course if you're doing this normally you'd be using a ruler but it's a little hard for me to do that. So, now let's have a look at graphing this line here. So we have the point negative 2, negative 2, which is about here. We have the point 0, 0, which is here. And we have the point 2, 2, which is here. Now, I want to join these together with a straight line, but whether I want a solid line or a dotted line or a dashed line depends on what inequality I have. Because I have an greater than and equals to, I want a solid line. If it was just plain greater than, it would be a dashed line. So I'm going to have a solid line joining these three dots together. Okay, but I'm not done yet. So that's just the graph of this, y equals x. But I need to represent y is greater than or equal to x. And to do this, I want to shade the area on which side of this line represents that inequality. So I want every y value that is going to be greater than my line, because this represents the line y equals x, but I want everything that's greater than that. So I want all y values greater than my line. So I want to shade this upper area here. So I'm going to have this area here shaded. And that's basically it. That's the representation of y is greater than or equal to x.